Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to reset the settings app on Windows 10. So the settings app is basically what we all think of it as. It's a modern UI setting page where it shows a system, devices, personalization, networking, internet, and so forth. So I'm going to show you guys how to reset that without too much of a hassle, and we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. So we are going to start by opening up the star menu. You want to right click on the settings icon where you hover over it, it says settings. You want to right click on the gear icon where you hover over it, it says settings. Go ahead and right click on that. Select move and then select app settings. Give it a moment here. Scroll down. You want to see where it says reset. If this app isn't working right, reset it. This app's data will be deleted. Go ahead and select the reset button. Select reset. And then hopefully once you restart your computer, everything should be resolved. Now if you are still having uh, an issue, or perhaps you were unable to open up that settings screen, I'm going to show you guys a Windows PowerShell option. Please note, if you're not running the most up-to-date version of Windows 10, this command will not work. So I believe starting in build 2175 is when this became available. So we're going to show that method too, and we're going to open up the start menu. Type in PowerShell. Best result should come back of Windows PowerShell. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, go ahead and select yes. And now, like I said, there will be a command in the description of my video. I want you guys to copy it. And then go up to the top bar of this Windows PowerShell window here. Right click on it, select edit, and then paste it in. If you want to use the keyboard shortcut, you can. Otherwise, you're just going to go ahead and run that. So it was not able to run. I'm not running the most up-to-date version of Windows 10, as you can see. Just at the time of this recording, it's just not up-to-date for different reasons. But if you're running an up-to-date version of Windows 10, this command should work. So I just give you guys a different option there. One further thing you can also try, you can open up the command prompt. So type in CMD into the start menu. We're going to run it as an administrator. So right click and then run as administrator. We're going to go select yes. And now, like I said, there will actually be a second command in the description of the video here. So we're going to copy that. It starts with PowerShell, believe it or not. And you're going to copy that. Go up to the top bar of the command prompt here. Right click on it, select edit, and then paste it in. Hit enter. And there you go, guys. Once you have a blinking cursor, you should be able to just close out of here. Restart your computer, and that should be about it. So, as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. do hope that I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.